Well, he's a photographer known for his stunning images of the prairie and beyond. Joining us today with the details on his brand new calendar is Larry Canfer. Hey, Larry, welcome back. Thank you. Good to be here. So it looks like you've been busy. We've got art behind us as well as uh, several calendars here. So what was your inspiration? Doing all sorts of stuff. Well, on the calendar, you know, it's, it's about March, April, uh, it gave me a time to kind of think back and reflect on everything. And so I thought well, I'd put together a 30 year per, uh, retrospective with all my, um, the covers of all the calendars I've been doing since. Uh, You've been, th crazy. you said 30 years, so yes. you've, uh, there's only 12 months, so how did you pull that off? Yeah. Well, you know, it's not everyone. <laughs> okay. It's some right. of my favorites, and uh, just, it, it was kind of fun putting it together because it's, it gives, you not only have to worry about the months, you know, January with snow mm -hmm. and July with corn, uh, but it also gave me a, a, a perspective on where I've come over the years um, in my work. Are well, you like a lot of, um, it seems like a lot of artists or musicians look back on their stuff from early, early on and go and kind of cringe a little bit because they feel like they've come a long way? Is that the same for you or no? Uh, yeah. Is it? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. This is the very first calendar here, right? Uh, yes, the 1989. Oh, and look at that. Beautiful. I, so you mentioned picking, you know, through them, but was it hard to narrow it down? It was. I, one of the fun things about doing a calendar every year is that there's, you know, sh central Illinois is such, so beautiful with the sequence from January, from all snow embossed to uh, month to month, the changes, and that's what's so exciting. So I love doing that. And then this had the extra element of also the year, mm. you know, and, and my work. So. I got to go season to season and year to year. Very it's cool. interesting. I, you're so well known for these large, beautiful <laughs> portraits that hang at University of Illinois and you know, all over central Illinois. But the last couple times you've been here, it seems like you've been branching out a little bit and, and taking your, your photographs to more than just a picture. For example, the one behind me. Right. What's been that process like? What's that been like for you? I'm glad you asked because I'm very excited about it. Um, I've always wanted to put a uh, kind of another dimension in my work. You know, it, it's been many, many years I've been photographing, you know, uh, the intersections <laughs> and, you know, every road in this county, whatever. Um, and so this adds another dimension. H how do you do that? Do you, is it the dimension of time or maybe mm -hmm. just another plane? So. Um, I was kind of worked on doing this uh, crystal resin um, material where I can put actual elements onto the photograph. So, so that's a photograph. That is a photograph on canvas. And then I took, um, you know, it's a photograph of a cornfield. And so what better can you exactly. kind of work with than corn? And so those are actual ears of corn. And, and because it was a night... Um, and there are stars, it's kind of like the, the corn. Yeah, there's lots yeah. of glitter flecks up there. And you even have the husk on the corn stalks. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Talk to me a little bit about these here in the front. Well, this one, I, I like the idea of um, repetition on the, the corn. Um, and that's on canvas, and it's, it's um, uh, uh, divided out. The teacups similar kind of uh, concept with the uh, with I with uh, rice or I'm sorry not teacups the rice rice cups what is that um, a photo of um, those are rice cups it went uh, on one of my trips to Hong Kong photo trip to Hong Kong I, I took oh, these. oh now there, I see it, see it in, <laughs> I was um, like looking at it sideways for and some there's reason. gold in there you know yeah. I, I guess inspired by the and then all the rice little on the top. In central so Illinois, I, have, do you find yourself, I, I know the skies are always changing, the clouds always look different, but mm -hmm. have, have you found yourself going, how can I photograph this cornfield differently than I have for the last 30 years? That's got to be a challenge. All the time. And, and it really, I mean, what really motivates me is to look at things differently. You know, we get in a routine where every day you see the same thing and you don't even... People don't even see what's right in front of them, the beauty that's in front of them. So, so I actually try and look at things a little different. How do you do that? So, uh, cornfields, you know, yep. there's different seasons. There's the movement. Uh, there's the dimension. Um, time of day. 
Yeah. Well, my, my dad's a pastor, and he says the hardest thing about preaching at Easter every year is the story is the same every single year. How do I make this new? How do I make this different? And I would imagine, you know, for you, it, there's uh, there's some similarities there. So thank you for sharing yes. your work with us. It's beautiful as always, and I can't wait to uh, get a look at this new calendar. And there it is. There's his uh, website, and he's actually donated two calendars that we'll be giving away make later. Make that one calendar that is left. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Thank we, you. We appreciate it. We'll connect you at CLLiving.tv.